Numerous don't put that out there because now you're saying none of y'all are to be trusted. I'm not saying and none I of don't us believe that. That's what there I are loyal men. There are men that are loyal. If you are not one of them, then that is okay. But there are men that are loyal, well, that have been loyal, and then one day they make a bad decision. So also the the actual Literally, the actual way you went about cheating also makes a difference. If you went to Vegas and it was one night and I find out about it six months later, that's totally different with you having a whole affair with the girl that you see at your coffee shop and you've been lying to me about where you've been last Thursday, the Thursday before that, the Thursday before that, the Thursday before that. You've been actively deceitful. That's not cheating. Versus one night that you went to Vegas. So we have to also contextualize the cheating no, we don't. Yes, I mean, we do. The, the revenge, cheating, the revenge, cheating, cheating and an cheating affair is two have... different things. We're not gonna. We're not blending the. We're not blurring the lines. An affair is clearly an affair. An affair is exactly what you just just described. Cheating is majority of the times is something that is spontaneous. It's something that has not been organized. And if it was organized, it was like a very very lightly organized like oh you're going to the same spot i'm gonna be at the same spot next thing you know you smashing in the whip you know what i'm saying that's a you know what i'm saying like you know that's is this no, is that <laughs> I'm normal just saying, guys is it, this what is this what it's, it's very normal he's talking about his own situation okay, okay. i'm that talking this is coming too, from personal too experience quickly off the i'm tongue. trying to tell y'all about <laughs> real life and men. Your real life. No, I'm men. sure that happened to you before. I just, course, that's not like, happening. I know for a fact that's not happening with every man out here. Well, not every man qualifies for it to happen. This is, this is what I feel. I feel like for me, if I was to revenge cheat, it would only be in the time frame where I have him or her on ice. Like if we made up and we like... Got oh, during the together. during the cut you off time. Yeah, I can't believe you did that. Now I'm not answering your calls. We not. And then I went out with weeks. my girls. We went to a club, and I had a one night stand. Okay. Maybe it could go like that as well. Right. It doesn't have to be organized. I didn't have to like go to the guy from my job who I find attractive. It, right. it could have just been I went out with my girls. I got drunk and I was just so mad and he was fine and I was just I like, wasn't Fuck talking it. to you and I don't you know I wasn't talking to you. But Let me ask I, you a I, question. I, I, I cut you off because I found out you were cheating. Let not me, you admit it to me. And then let's also go about how you found out she That's was not cheating. revenge cheating. Did then. you admit to me that you were cheating because of the guilt? Or did somebody slide in my DM and come to me as a woman? Like, these things also matter. Well, let's also talk about the simple fact that, <laughs> given the context, if you did cut him off, that's not cheating. Y'all are single. Even a break, if you, having sex on a break is not cheating. Like let's let's make sure that that's understood. You can feel what you want to feel, but technically speaking, there is no infidelity there because there's no relationship at that current period of time. So because of that, with those giving variables, that does not qualify as revenge cheating. Revenge cheating has to be when y'all are still together as a unit. Now, my question to you, ladies, is why would you want to revenge cheat? Think about it. Why would you want to revenge cheat on somebody that you, I guess, want to see things through? Why not just leave? But but your whole mentality right there just shows the lack of understanding and how a long term relationship goes. Just because we have a fight or you cheated or we're on odds, that does not mean that we are not together. Yeah, People I go actually didn't things. say break We go up, up we go ice. down, yeah, I'm said. not talking to you, I'm mad at you. But when you in it with somebody, these things happen. That doesn't mean we're not together. So as a woman, I do feel like I'm cheating if I were to be with somebody outside of, you know, when we got into that fight or when you, when I found out you were cheating, I'm still gonna feel like I'm cheating because I wanna be with you. I'm only out here because you are acting a motherfucker fucking fool you don't want to be the with the reason that i'm out here if you wanted to be with them you would find out a better a better more lucrative solution lucrative yeah like something that's gonna <laughs> actually make make it make it make sense there's nothing good in in your decision to revenge cheat if you truly want to be with somebody all you did was add it's like if i was cooking a meal Right. If I was cooking a meal and it was already too much salt, only thing you did was add more salt to the pot. So now I got to deal with your own personal guilt because you feel bad that you did something foolish. Mm -hmm. And now I got to also okay. deal with my personal guilt and then also try to take on both of our guilt and try to find a way to make things right. Because technically I was the cheating initiate initiator, which is not really 
fair. So my question it's is... It's not fair. It's not fair because just because somebody does something wrong doesn't make it okay for you to do something wrong and they say, well, now we can kind of get together. Well, I have a, like, I have a person that's done wrong a doesn't get a what say you just in that. Said, Rico. Does revenge cheating also include telling your partner that you revenge cheated or do you just revenge cheat for yourself just to like... Yeah. You know, how would they know? Right. Like, I don't think that anyone's going to come back to their partner and be like, okay, well, I'm I did this. Tell huh? like, Why would you tell them? You're not going to tell them. I'm so good at myself. Just, it's just going to make you no, feel well, better. I'm, I'm to saying know that, that to Rico to because that, Rico was like, you're going to be dealing with your guilt. Um, your guilt. Um, oh, no. I'll be dealing with my guilt. You. And I'm, <laughs> I don't really think that's how it is. I think that if you revenge cheat, it's just that's on you. If you feel guilty yourself, then maybe you feel guilty. If you feel like you did the right thing and maybe you can go back to your relationship now because you know you got one up on him and you guys can work it out and be back in a relationship so that way that you're not that angry at him, then that works and for that's some that, people. Yeah. We can go that way. We can go that route. We can definitely talk about that. Um, but to answer your question initially, the reason that I did say that is because we were speaking about a person who doesn't cheat. That was the topic, right? We were speaking about somebody who, that that's not in their character. So how would you know when I answered this? Because I knew that that question was going to come about at some point, but I tried to beat it. You know what I'm saying? Was the simple fact that you can see it on them. You can usually see somebody who has done wrong. There's a lot of people who done like, I don't want to compare cheating to selling drugs, right? But let's just say we did. Somebody who sold drugs for the first time, they don't they look like they sold drugs for the first time. <laughs> like they just look uncomfortable in the whole process. So somebody who's cheated for the first time, they look uncomfortable with the process of only just uh, of the simple fact of dealing with them within themselves. It's not about me or you know or the relationship. It's usually that damn, I kind of let myself down because I know I'm better than this. And I cheated for the first time. You done broke the ice to really be like, I'm a cheater. You but know that what they doesn't say. turn people into cheaters. Because my cheating situation, I was 19. It was I was young and dumb. And I never cheated after that. I never cheated on anyone after that. I just left them. So once a cheater, not but always a cheater. I feel like if I was like with... I just don't believe that either. Okay. I don't believe that. And I, let's hope that's not the case for you, young sir. You know? But what I do think is I that... Believe. People can change. So if people have made a change, they're doing different things in their life, they're doing different things in their life. They deserve the benefit of the doubt, especially if they are displaying the behaviors and they're being honest and they're actually doing their work. I genuinely think that that's possible. So could, all right, follow me. Could y'all live with a guy? By live, I'm just, I don't mean like physically. I mean like, you know. Entertaining or well, I mean, Well, I mean like just... Could you live with a guy, could you live with the fact that knowing a man has cheated on you at some point in your relationship and remain the same that, that you were when you initially were dating? Oh, no, I'll be acting real different. I never did it, so I have no idea. i never been cheated on as far as I know my knowledge. Um, so I don't know. Well, I, I would have to say that, too. Like, to my knowledge, I... I have never been cheated on, but just for any slight convenience. Because <laughs> we're good. Like, ew. <laughs> like, if I... <laughs> this is not funny. That's why I feel like the regi 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 re revenge cheating is necessary because I don't even know, like, if that happened to me, how could I get through that? And the only way I could think about getting through that is, like, we have a family and I've invested a lot of years. But then even, I'm gonna go. Even okay, that, are me... you really like getting back? Because I know I'm not like that. Even if I get mad about something else, like, and we work back together, I really still be acting different. I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's gonna take a while. That's gonna be a hard. Yeah, feat. cheating. So I would just say, just don't do it because it really. It, it and and me and after I did that with like that, this was my college sweetheart or whatever. He happened to move away, and I was. I don't Not know what was going on, right? But after that, we got back together, but it just was never the same. Did you like, tell he him could you never. Um, <laughs> no. So there was nothing to get over. Um, I didn't. No, no. He said that he had a dream, and he asked me if during the summer that he was gone, did something happen? And I told him the truth because I can't lie. Why do God? Omission is that? different than lying, right? It never came up. Do you do you hear trees fall in the forest? No, right? It could have just went to the, it was one time it could have just went to the grave. But he asked me so I I can't lie to his face. So I told him. Was it a one night stand? It was it, it wasn't a one night stand cuz I knew this person for years. We went to college together, but it just was one night. 
and that's it. And he knew I had a boyfriend too. We were Yo, like, was the one like said, why she lying? But listen. No, I knew yeah. him. Like, this Yo, was a f- Kayla, uh, Kayla, friend. I'm talking to you with my teeth closed. <laughs> Be honest. Was Be honest, it, what? Did you see him before this? Yeah, before yes. Before this night. Yes, I went to school with him. No, 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 for no. Years. No. I don't mean. I don't no, mean. No, I actually was close with him. Like, I knew him personally. So was it organized? It wasn't organized. So how did you? Okay. It was just after. You guys were having wine. Go ahead. No, no. You guys stop. were studying. He was a, in a frat. Gemini he was in friend. Omega Sci Fi. Go not, ahead. I'm he, not trying to. Gemini take friend. Listen, I'm not ashamed of this. People make mistakes. This was ten no, no, years ago, so I'm cool on it. I just, I just want to see if it was really a one night stand. It really. It wasn't a one night stand. It no, was, was a it? one night. What was it? One night stand is no. What you don't know that person. No, That's with a stranger. One night stands are not always with strangers. Yes, they are. I could have known. Not saying this has happened. Not saying it will. I could have known Amanda on eight at the table for not four saying, years. Not saying this has happened. No, <laughs> I'm saying I could have known Amanda for four years at eight at the table. Okay, four years pass by. Me and Amanda see each other at a you know a networking event, and this boom 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 happens. That's still a one night stand. I don't think that's a one night stand. Nah, I would be a like one I night stand is you met them <laughs> like, one night. <laughs> no, you met them one night, one night and you stand. never seen them again. No. That's a one night. stand. A one night stand means I actually no. never ever pursued you and you never pursued me and then one night no, no. one okay. night we, we decide to pursue each other let's look this up because <laughs> i think most people would agree that a one night stand is when you go out and you meet someone that night and you go and have sex with them that night but that's a one a night familiar stand. Face. Mar- not, not a friend of yours the, that you bonded with talk to you no, know wait, them wait. you're close with them and then one night something happens that's you were not bonded with him called, cut it out capper that's you called, was not bonded with this man no, I was. He was a good friend of mine. Oh, brother.